Lights. It is quarter past nine. You're listening to Matt and Molly on Radio One Breakfast. And it is time for someone to step forward and take one for the team by sharing their embarrassing story so that we can think to ourselves how lucky we are that it happened to them and not us. Christy, come on then. What happened to you? Um, so, I made a grave error in the first week of one of my new jobs. Ah, OK. It's difficult starting a new job. You want to make a good first impression. What was the job, Christy? Um, so, I was working for a famous department store in uh, Cambridge City Centre. Um, so, very, very big area. And I wanted to make a very good impression, obviously, in my first few weeks working there. Um, and they have a big staff canteen there. And I noticed they did lemon sponge cake. Oh, my favourite. How many days into the new job are you here? So I'm literally probably about a week into the job. So just starting to get my foot in the door, starting to understand the job. OK, starting to sort of make some friends and things? Yeah, yeah, I had a, I had a few colleagues. Uh, we, we all were just going to sit down together to eat our meals. So was, we were all going to share some lemon sponge cake. Which nice. <laughs> and essentially, so bought the lemon sponge cake, poured custard on it and went to sit down with all my new colleagues. And I was the first one to sit down and I suddenly looked at it and thought, this custard's a bit lumpy. Then I started to realise, hang on a minute, this isn't custard. Oh, no. I mixed oh, it no. up with a tin of chicken soup. <gasps> oh. oh, Christy. Oh, no, Talk about no, a no, way no. to ruin the lemon sponge. And now you've got a dilemma on your hands, Christy, because your colleagues are all sat down. You've got two options. You've either got to say, I put soup on this cake, I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> Or you've got to try and just act normal and eat the cake with the soup. Please tell me you went for option one and didn't eat it. I'm afraid I went for option two. <sighs> <laughs> it so, was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. I can only describe the taste as being a bit like a lemon chicken, but a bit more oh. thick. So do you think that people noticed? Did you have to do a different face? Do you have to fake your reaction to whatever it was that was going on? Well, the funny thing is, so for the first bite, I was so hungry, I thought, mm, not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> That's a sensation. <laughs> Absolutely. It's different, I can go with it. Christy, this is exactly like Joey in Friends, where he eats the trifle. Yeah. Chicken, good. <laughs> Sponge, good. Lemon, good. <laughs> The thing is here, Christy, is that I really, I admire you for, for keeping going at this. But what worries me here, if I was in, if I was in your shoes, is what if they realise that it's chicken soup? <laughs> and they then say to you, Christy, why are you having a lemon cake with chicken or, soup? Or worse, they don't ask that question. They just think, our new colleague, <laughs> this is what he's eating. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, you say that, it's exactly what did happen. No! I fights in, they just went... Christy, that, that doesn't look like custard. Oh, and no. It smells a lot like chicken. I had to come clean. So what did you say then? Did you say, yeah, I, I was just too scared to admit that I had mistaken the, the custard for the soup? Or did you say, oh, I'm into it, actually? Yeah, you doubled down and like, no, no, this is what I wanted. Yeah. I just, I kind of said I wanted dessert and main course at the same time. Oh, <laughs> oh you tried to justify it. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work out well. They saw right through the lies. I was called Chicken Soup Man for a good six months. I'm <laughs> not surprised. Uh, I must say, I would not recommend uh, having chicken soup on your lemon sponge, but it might go better with a chocolate crunch. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Always optimistic, Christy. <laughs> well, as ever, we appreciate you sharing this story with us. No worries. Happy to take one for the team. Cheers, Christy. Thanks, Christy. Cheers. Bye. It's a good story, that.